What's up YouTube? My name's Aja. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm bringing you a little quick crown chakra video. Okay, crown chakra. It's not really crown chakra 101 because I'm just going to run through it really quick. How to tell if it's blocked, unblocked, and how to unblock it with your hair care routine. Okay, so I'm going to do a little hair care and tell you all about the ingredients that I use to unblock my crown chakra from the shower to this style that I do in the video. <laughs> from rosemary to Florida water, amethyst, um, blueberries, positive affirmations that say that you're a divine, beautiful, feminine, spiritual woman, and you are divinely connected to God, the universe, the creator. I get into how to know if your crown chakra is blocked, how to unblock it, and just a little bit of crown chakra 101. <laughs> this is baby witch friendly, black witch friendly, lady witch friendly, <laughs> green witch friendly. <laughs> and let's get into the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you get notifications for all my posts. So let's get into the video. All right, all right. So as you guys just heard in the intro, we are going to do a crown chakra video, how to unblock your crown chakra as I do my hair. So your hair. Your crown chakra is right here. So if you ain't got no edges, if you're balding in the middle, on the sides, in the back, if you um, have, have extreme hair loss, maybe you need to open your crown chakra. That's not what this video is gonna be about, but your hair is a very important vessel that holds energy. So if you want a balanced crown chakra, you have to nurture your head <laughs> so the your hair the top of your head you know because this is your third eye your throat chakra is down here but you have to nurture the top of your head that is where your crown sits that is how you connect to god the universe whomever it is you believe in it's all connected through your crown chakra. So let's get into what's the crown chakra? How can you nourish it? How can you open it? How to know if it's blocked? What to do? What foods to eat to nourish your crown chakra? What teas to drink? All that good stuff, okay? And what? And my hair care routine, okay? <laughs> let's get into the video. So first things first, what is the crown chakra and why do you want to unblock it? Well, your crown chakra is the chakra that is right at the top of your head. It's the purple violet one that floats on top of your head. It is the crown center of our chakra system and it is great for spirituality, awakening, enlightenment, godly connection, universal connection, depression, anxiety, stress. There's so many benefits to unblocking your crown chakra. First step you need to do to unblock your crown chakra is going to be to wash your hair, okay? Wash your hair, wash your head. If you are bald, wash it anyways, okay? And you are also going to use Florida water on your hair. Add it to your shampoo, you can just put it in your hands, rub it on. That's what I do. I add it straight to my head <laughs> um, while I'm in the shower. Let it sit for a little while you meditate, rub it in, and say your intentions that you are unlocking your crown chakra, unblocking anything that's blocking your crown chakra from being open. Fun. But a pink Himalayan salt rinse. You can add intentions into rice and make a rice water and use rose water, foods and flowers that I'm going it. And you can make your own sort of calm I them. <laughs> Let's get into the next step. I'm going to use this forget me not oil. So it's hair oil that has peach, mandarin, forget me not flowers and green tea and it's using apricot oil and sweet almond oil. So 
You can also unblock your crown chakra with oils. I'm going to put them directly on my scalp and let you know all about the crown chakra as I do that. <laughs> so, the crown chakra. It's the chakra right on top of your head. It's purple and floating. So while you're meditating, you're always going to want to envision a purple floating ball of light above your head. The crown chakra is how you can go on your spiritual journey for enlightenment it is also it's also the chakra that you use to connect to god or the universe your spiritual center it's right above your head so we're going to nourish our head since the crown chakra is a nice violet purple color it resonates a lot with purple crystals, purple flowers, purple essential oils, and things like that. So lavender, forget-me-nots. Purple flowers are like a lavender or a violet. Those are always great and you can always add intentions to those about your crown chakra. So you add the intentions into the oil before you apply it to your head. This is the forget-me-not oil. It has forget-me-not flowers in it. So before I applied it to my head, I went ahead and I held the bottle. I infused my energy with this oil so that the forget-me-not flowers can open my crown chakra, balance my crown chakra, and help me with my enlightenment, my awakening, and my spiritual journey. And you can do some chants, some incantations, some om as you meditate but as you are adding the oil to your head you are saying my crown chakra is open I am awakened I am wise your crown chakra is all about wisdom okay so this is godly wisdom this is universal wisdom this is the wisdom from your ancestors you can always speak to your ancestors through your crown chakra as well this is a spiritual connection so whatever you are trying to connect to spiritually you need to open your crown chakra first or you won't go through that enlightening journey you'll know your crown chakra is blocked or that you need to do some meditations to unblock it once you start feeling disconnected and this is spiritually disconnected so you start feeling anxiety depression loneliness um start like doubting yourself um you don't do magic as often you don't feel as inspired um about your spiritual journey anymore you don't feel like you're able to talk to or hear god you're not dreaming enough if you have a bit of insomnia, opening your crown chakra will help you sleep better. Opening your crown chakra will help you fight that depression and help, opening your crown chakra will help you fight your anxiety. So this is because depression and anxiety are a spiritual sickness. So it's the, it's, negative energies attacking your mind and if you change those energies through flowers such as lavender and forget-me-nots that's infused in this oil and you apply them directly to your crown chakra it nourishes it it replenishes it it gives it a, a energy to hold on to so your crown chakra helps with knowledge and wisdom. It helps you pray. It helps you it helps you really get in tune with who you truly are, your star seed. So when you nourish your crown chakra, it helps you with enlightenment. So using something with rosemary and mint in it are not only stimulating for your scalp, but it helps open your crown chakra. So rosemary is great for your crown chakra and your consciousness. So it helps you on your path through consciousness and enlightenment. And the more conscious you are, the more spiritually connected you are. The crown chakra is all about peace. So when you release anxiety, 
you feel peace. Not only will you be connected to the divine realm, your God, your universe, but you will also increase your own divinity by opening your crown chakra. So you could start hearing prophet dreaming, definitely unblock your crown chakra. If you can't sleep at all, unblock your crown chakra. Your crown chakra is out of balance. It really adds stress to your mind. So you could be feeling angry. You could be lashing out. You could be very stressed at any and everything. You could be using um, substances to kind of calm your mind. You could be, you know, becoming, becoming a little addicted uh, just to kind of distract yourself from the day to day. If you don't feel like being in the day to day and need to sort of like alter your mind, you might need to go through a spiritual journey and nourish your crown chakra. You'll be able to establish a spiritual routine. You'll be able to really just get into your divine power. I am wise. I have infinite wisdom. I travel through universes in my sleep. I am connected spiritually to God insert name here, universe, spirit. I, I am divinely connected. I am a divine one. I am a chosen one. Once you open your crown chakra, you'll start having prophetic dreams. You'll be seeing angel numbers everywhere. You'll be seeing um, messages. You'll be able to decode different messages that use things that used to make no sense. Physical body and your energetic body such as acai berries, um, lavender tea, uh, raspberries, blackberries, eggplant, grapes, natural foods, purple cabbage, radishes, uh, red onions, they're purple. These type of things nourish your crown chakra. And while you eat them, while you drink the tea, while you steep the tea with these natural fruits, say incantations such as this is going to open my crown chakra. My intentions for this tea is to open my crown chakra. I am wise. I am knowledgeable. I'm spiritually enlightened. I while you do your hair every day, you should be doing crown chakra meditations. And open your crown chakra, you don't even have to say any affirmations. You could simply close your eyes and imagine the chakra, the purple chakra, the purple ball of light floating here. Imagine it opening and shining a light and letting that purple light drain on you and letting it surround your space and your areas and let it enlighten you. Let it be with you and write down any impressions that you get as you're meditating. Which a lot of people have never seen a fox before, but I've been seeing many of them since my crown chakra loves it all. You can infuse regular oils with um, forget-me-not flowers, with lavender, with purple violets, with other, with blueberries, <laughs> with acai berries, with other purple substances. And y'all, I think I forgot a ponytail. Okay. And sorry if I'm all over the place in this video. I've never done like a get ready with me <laughs> and tried to talk and do my hair at the same time. This is definitely a bit difficult, but um, <laughs> I am really enjoying it actually. <laughs> but crown chakra. So I really don't have a lot to say about the crown chakra because I just see it as a one-stop shop to your spirituality. It is how you go on your awakening your enlightenment journey you can check out my video on how to go on your spiritual journey or how to start it but i believe opening your crown chakra is a very crucial step you open your crown chakra by first washing your hair and then cleansing it with a spiritual 
alcohol based products such as like Florida water you can add some flowers to your witch hazel like lavender and forget-me-nots um, add the Florida water to your shampoo or conditioner and you have to say your intentions while you are washing your hair so your intentions are always to cleanse unblock your crown chakra allow your crown chakra to flow with beautiful magnetic easygoing energy so that it can stay in balance and balance out the rest of your chakras you want to give the intentions that you are divinely connected through your crown chakra you have to meditate you have to meditate you have to meditate <laughs> you have to meditate <laughs> You gotta meditate. You gotta meditate. Okay. You gotta meditate. You're not going to open any of your chakras if you do not meditate. Oh, sorry. Uh, Jackie. Uh, okay. And you have to physically envision the chakra opening if you don't see one it's probably so small and closed off because you've been so spiritually connected and depressed and anxious and stressed and all of those terrible things well check out my amethyst 101 video that might help with some of those very specific things but you gotta use amethyst crystals you have to moisturize your hair you have to take care of your head take care of your hair so why, why do you want to unblock your crown chakra? So that you can have a limitless experience to the world. So that you can have a universal connection. So that you can have prophetic dreams. So that you can talk to God, spirit, angels, your spirit guides your own divine being, your own past selves. All of that comes with a healthy and open crown chakra. If you want to go on your spiritual journey, you gotta open your crown chakra first. If you want to get out of that funk, you gotta open your crown chakra first. You gotta trust in your enlightenment. So to be enlightened, it means that you really trust in your own intuition. You can talk directly to God and get universal messages right from him. You are sort of like woke before the word woke was woke. You're more of a like enlightened being. <laughs> um, so opening your crown chakra is sort of like how to be woke. <laughs> because it just opens your experiences you, it just opens the your whole universe up to new experiences like it just the way you see things and interpret things are all going to change the way that you do things are all going to change your daily routines are all going to change who you hang around is going to change conversations that you find interesting are going to change you're not going to want to gossip you're going to want to do things that are good for you. You're going to want to eat better. You're going to want to do better. You're going to want to be around better people. You're going to feel enlightened. You're going to, you're not going to have any self doubt. You are not going to um, doubt that you're talking to God when you are. You can be sober with an open crown chakra. You don't rely on anything else but your spirituality and your faith and your trust in God and actual God. That's what you trust in when you are woke. You don't need extra substances. Um, when I said woke, oh, not me saying woke. I meant when you are enlightened with a nice healthy crown chakra. <laughs> Girl, let me stop. Um, and I'm getting makeup all on my brush. It's okay, I'm almost done anyways. But 
yeah i don't want to make this video too long because there's not much to say it's just if you want um a better spiritual experience you got to open your crown chakra and that all starts with taking care of your hair and your head so mental health stress and anxiety i think you can cure it with either meds from your doctor and amethyst or just amethyst <laughs> um and i also think And I hope that this video was informative. I hope I didn't just ramble and make no sense the whole time because that's what it's kind of feeling like I did. <laughs> but let me know down below if you like this video. I'm no hairstylist. I was just nourishing my crown chakra while I did this video. So it was just a fun little way to talk to you guys without just sitting and staring in the camera. <laughs> But I really hope that you enjoy Crown Chakra 101, how to unblock it, how to know what's unblocked, how to know what's blocked, and what you can do for your crown chakra. Happy enlightening to my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angels. Make sure that you like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and please click that notification bell so that you get all the notifications on when I am posting. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. Peace.